Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome back to another great day of teaching and learning where we will build our brilliance. Because every day we are working towards being brilliant Bobcats. Today, we are going to make sure that we are raising the bar and making every moment matter. Let's go ahead and get started with our morning announcements. I'll see you soon. Good morning, Senate Hills Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Senate Hills Elementary students and staff. All cat affirmation, both things are improbable. I think positively. I take ownership for my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others than myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a bob cat. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, scholars, if you are new to the hill i just wanted to give you just a little reminder that throughout the year we have just because treat days so you must always follow our three school-wide rules which are to be respectful responsible and ready to learn because you never know if this day is a treat day. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, tomorrow is progress report day. I hope that you've been keeping track of your grades and checking in with your teachers. Our next announcement is that Grandparents Day will take place at the Hill on next Friday. So make sure that you invite your grandparents to come to the Hill to eat lunch with you. Don't worry if you don't know what time you eat lunch. We're going to send a note home so that you can share it with your parents and grandparents. And our last announcement for today is that parent-teacher conferences will take place on this Thursday from 4.30 until 7 p.m. That's 4.30 until 7 p.m. Scholars, make sure that you tell your parents that the teachers have a one-hour break so that they can get uh, some snacks for themselves and get their own children before they begin meeting with you. All right? So tell parents. Tell your parents, 4.30 until 7. Thanks. In other school-wide events and activities, teachers and scholars, our goal for iReady is 95%. As of Friday, we had only made it to 93% as a school. 
on the screen, you will see the names of scholars who were finally uploaded. Scholars, if you see your name, we need for you to complete your iReady assessment this morning during intervention so that we can get to 95%. Teachers, if you need assistance, please reach out to Mr. Hill. In mathematics on iReady, we are only at 91% as a school. We have quite a few students in grades K, 3, and 4 who need to complete the iReady diagnostic in mathematics this morning. If you have a partner on your grade level, it would be okay for one teacher to keep all of the students who need to be assessed while the other two teachers have small group instruction on during our intervention time this morning. Let's work together so that we can get to at least 95% today. Thanks for all you do. And lastly, in our school-wide events and activities, remember we are tracking the purchases of Bobcat gear in each homeroom. The homeroom with the most purchases will win the pizza party. Currently on the screen, we have our grade four representative. Why? Because his class is currently in the lead. Did you take home your calendar and give it to your parents so that they can purchase at least one item off of the list so that your class can be in the running for the pizza party? We'll find out which classes are in the lead you have until the end of September. So go home, make sure that you ask someone in your family to purchase you a new piece of Bobcat gear. Teachers and scholars, we have made it through the first 20 days of school. And you know what that means, scholars? That means that there is an attendance award in your future. We'll do something big. I think I'll wait until Friday. You'll have a small treat on another day this week, but you don't want to miss the big treat on Friday. So this week, it will be extremely important for you to be following the 3R approach. I hope you remember that we were out of uniform today. Can't wait to see which outfit you wore. Today's classroom spotlight goes to the pre-K scholars in Ms. Barrow's class. Over the last couple of weeks, these scholars have been caught being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn on multiple occasions. Keep up the fantastic job. Over the weekend, Bronze Adams, Mason Brooks, Mila Brooks, 
Austin Jones, Miracle Neighbors, and Abdiel Granados had birthdays. Not only did these scholars have birthdays, but we also want to wish a happy birthday to Miss A. Walker, who works in our cafeteria in the morning and then comes back to make sure that everything is safe and sanitized on the second floor of our main building each and every day. But that's not all. We also had Miss Somerville, who had a birthday on Saturday, and as if that wasn't enough, Mr. Hill, our interventionist, had his birthday on yesterday. Now, if you are in the room, or you see Mr. Hill in the hall, pull him in the room so you can go ahead and wish him a happy birthday. But we want to make sure we wish a happy birthday to Braun, Mason, Mila, Austin, Miracle, Abdiel, Miss Somerville, and don't forget Miss Walker when you go into the cafeteria. Not the Miss Walker that monitors, the Miss Walker that's in the back making sure that you have enough food to eat. Now, if you're in the room with any of these people right at this moment, help me give them a special Bobcat birthday shout out by turning, pointing to them and saying happy birthday and our students in the spotlight today we are shining a light on our scholars who served as office helpers on friday Throughout the day, we needed scholars to help us with our treats for the week, with our backpack deliveries, and we even called a few who were helping to clean the building when they saw something out of place, and those who turned in attendance to the main office. Scholars, no matter how you help, we just want to show you that we appreciate how you're always willing to lend a helping hand. We'll be looking for more scholars who are helping today. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. And we are going to get this up today. We have been doing this But today, we're going to get this up divided by five. Four. Did you get that answer correct? It's okay if you are still learning your division facts. Remember that you can find the answer to division using repeated subtraction. Let's take a look at it now. Remember, we have to subtract five until we get to the answer zero. So if you look at the bottom in the green, you will see our first subtraction problem is 20 minus five, and 20 minus five is 15. But we haven't made it to zero yet. So we have to keep subtracting. So our second subtraction problem is 15 minus five, and our answer is 10. But remember, our goal is to get to the answer zero. So we need to continue subtracting. Our third subtraction problem is 10 minus 5, and the answer is 5. But it's not zero yet. So we have a fourth problem to do. That is 5 minus 5, and we finally get to the answer 0. If you look on the screen, if we circle 
you will see in orange we circled one, two, three, four, fives. That lets us know that our answer is four. Fourteen minus nine. Fifteen. Is that correct, scholars? What do we know should happen when we subtract? Should the number get larger or smaller? If you said smaller, you, you are on the right track. Help me check my work using this counting back strategy. Because what we know is that the number should get smaller and my number is larger than the biggest number that you see in this problem. So help me to check my work so we can figure out where I went wrong. Let's put the big number in our head, that is 14, and let's count backwards nine places. Are you ready? Let's go. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. My answer should be 5. What did I do wrong? Can you see where I made my mistake. It looks like I forgot that when I took that 10 away and made that 4 into a 14, I forgot to cross out that 1 that's in the 10's place to make it a 0. Ah. That is how I got 15 instead of the correct answer of 5, which is why it's always best to check your work. Let's try one more. International holidays. Scholars over the weekend, we missed World Letter Writing Day. Did you know that writing a letter is one of the best ways to express yourself? In honor of this national holiday, your challenge today is to write a letter to your parents, your guardians, whomever you think will come to parent-teacher conferences on Thursday, telling them about your first 20 days at the Hill. Be sure to include a picture of your favorite thing that you have done so far this school year. I can't wait to see what you write about. Today's read aloud is entitled, The World Needs More Purple People. Now scholars, take a look at the cover and the title of today's story. What do you think a purple person is going to turn out to be? Make a prediction before you listen to today's story. Teachers, today's story is 9 minutes and 55 seconds long. In addition to our story, we have our showing numbers video for our scholars in pre-K and K. We have our place value 1s and 10s video for our scholars in grades 1 and 2. We have our... Place value freeze dance for our scholars in grade three. And we have our place value and expanded form video for our scholars in grades four and five. Now, scholars, remember, if you are not able to watch these videos during the school day, these videos are a great way for you to continue to learn when you go home in the afternoon. All you have to do is log on to the Scenic Hill Bobcats YouTube page, go to the descriptions, and just have yourself a little fun learning while at home. I'll be around. Can't wait to see what you're learning today. Remember, every day we're building brilliant Bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future.